Welcome back to another episode of College Cooking. It has been a hot minute. Today's my day off, so I'm rocking it casual with the cutoff pearl snaps and the camo, but the food today is anything but casual. What if I told you guys that for a very minimal financial investment and a little bit of time, you could have basically an unlimited protein source right from your backyard? That might sound too good to be true, but for me right now, We've got the woodchuck, AKA the groundhog or the whistle pig. It is plentiful here. It is super easy to trap. Just a regular box trap with throw some cantaloupe in it. They walk right in. The last one I caught, I saw him, put the trap out. Within an hour I had him. They are incredible. I have been nothing but impressed with the flavor and the texture of these critters. And they're substantially bigger than like a rabbit or a squirrel. So here we have about a pound to two pounds of freshly brined groundhog. Soaked in a little bit of salt water for a day or two, but we're just gonna trim some of this fat off and then cube it up into little chunks. All right, so we got our fat all cleaned off. Most of the pieces are about maybe half inch cubes. Um, that's about the right size for to get that penetration on the marinade and then also about the right size for kebabs. So we're gonna go ahead and make up our recipe for our marinade and go so for here's there. some of the stuff we're going to be putting in our marinade today we're going to do a little bit of oil a little bit of soy sauce i have heard so many ways to pronounce this but i always like to put in as many syllables as i can a little bit of garlic um your ginger and your cumin are going to be your things that really cut down on any of the gamey flavor you got so we're going to do that a little bit of black pepper and then a little bit of brown sugar so we're just going to dump this marinade into the bag here once we get the marinade into the bag with the meat, we're gonna kinda squeeze the air out of it. And you want enough marinade that it covers the meat real well. And then you're just gonna kinda massage that in, make sure it gets nice and mixed around. And then you stick that in the fridge for however long you want to. I don't know, maybe a day, maybe overnight. I didn't get around to kebabbing the marinade the day that I made it, but today I finally have time. So I soak some kebabs in water for just a little bit so that they don't light on fire when I grill them. And then I'll be taking the pieces of meat and sticking them on the kebab and that marinade smells amazing it is gonna be a good time guys so what we're doing with the kebabs we're just sticking six or seven pieces of meat on it spread them out just a little bit and then slapping them on the charcoal grill and this charcoal grill my roommate found alongside the road one day came with a little bit of charcoal that's not burning super great but so far we're getting it to cook look at that it's just delicious the smell is amazing the flavor of the charcoal grill I think is a little bit better than that of propane. This is gonna be good, guys. During the grilling process, you can also sprinkle some seasoning or spices or whatever you want on top of it. This time we're just eating it plain because our marinade should be pretty good. Oh man, that was good. Wow, that flavor. I don't know if you can beat it. Add a little bit of cumin on that, be prime. If you're worried that you're gonna go out, get a trap, kill a groundhog, and then not thoroughly enjoy it, let me put that fear to rest. I've had many people try this groundhog, and everyone so far has very much liked it. I think flavor-wise, it's the most similar to pork. I cooked some unseasoned the other day, not gamey at all, just a terrific meat, even without seasoning. Highly recommend it. Texture-wise, it's a little bit on the chewy side, but if you were worried about that, you could cook it low and slow in the oven or in a crock pot. It's a great meat. You should try it. Thank you for watching another episode of College Cooking. I hope you learned something. If you didn't, feel free to watch again. As always, have a great day, and don't be afraid to try new things. There's nothing to lose. Go out, trap one, eat it, try it. It's good. This is a really good sandwich.